Hello friends on YouTube. My name is Maggie. Um, I started these videos as a way to keep uh, everybody updated on what we're doing with the chickens and the garden and uh, what's going on. So I hope you'll enjoy it. Um, the video you're about to watch was shot over about the past week and a half. When I started the videos, the highs were in the 80s every day, and I think the high for today is like 50, and we're going to have a freeze. Um, today is Saturday. We're going to have a freeze Sunday night, so um, we've been preparing for that, and um, that's it, so I hope you enjoy. Chickens are working hard. This is probably the last day I'm going to let them in the garden. One of the reasons why today is the last day the chickens get to be in the garden. That pot had chrysanthemums coming back just like this one does. But look at him. Eating my chrysanthemums. Anyway, today's the last day they get to enjoy the garden. I was just check checking on the potatoes. It looks like it's past time to add some dirt. So for these, we just recycled. These old containers were, um, they had cracks in them and I'm missing the lid. So I was going to throw them away. I decided that we could at least get one use out of them and plant potatoes so we'll see how it does look at Akamaru just laying they're so happy to break up the new dirt in case you've never seen one before this is called an action hoe and it is so useful it just goes right under the weeds. I love this thing. I just do like that. And I'm doing it one-handed because I'm holding the phone with the other. And see, it just... Look at that. just digs them right up. Love this thing. Let's see, I'm gonna show you. Look at that. It just like scoops under all the roots. Wish I could do it both handed because it's easier. Let's see, even with one hand, it just scoops them right out. so great. Now you can see the ground's really dry because it has not rained and I haven't bothered to water because there's no point in watering the weeds. But look at that. It makes the job so fast and you just pick everything up. I'm trying to finally plant the cabbages but there's a problem. Look what they've done. They've eaten all the leaves that they can reach. Look at her. Eating my cabbages. I don't know if they'll survive or not. I guess that's a lesson learned. I moved them forward. So maybe the chickens won't get them. It's not really ideal to move them as soon as you plant them. I don't like to disturb the roots that much, but they were going to get eaten. See, look at them. They're still trying to get them. Ha ha, you can't reach them now. Okay, here's what's going on. So today is Thursday. It's supposed to rain tomorrow, and then Saturday it'll be sunny and cool, 
but by Sunday night they're predicting a low of 33 which so we'll have a frost um, so right now I am trying to get all of the things that um, would be safe in the frost hopefully in the ground I'll probably cover them anyway just to be sure because I love my plants and I don't want them to die um, so I'll probably cover them but there's cabbage cabbage and both those which I showed you I had to move them away from the fence because the chickens were eating them and then there's cabbage and Swiss chard I have more Swiss chard and some broccoli and some dino kale I think all of those should be good even if it freezes I'm not sure but I have onions that I've been growing I think they'll be fine might cover them I don't I don't know you tell me um, obviously I never got around to finishing cleaning up the garden we put dirt I'll show you here's what it is we put dirt in all the beds but I didn't have enough so that let's see that square the far square needs to be moved and filled um, the other two need more dirt this one's probably okay uh, this one which is let me show you my see these are my cattle panel arches that my husband made for me they um they need a little more dirt I think this one might I'd like them to be full but I don't think we're gonna get there this year uh, they've settled and then dirt comes out as the plants grow when we pull up the plants um, but you can see they're pretty low um, in some of these cinder blocks I have strawberries so I have two arches and then this one and then I have these two these were my old beds old wooden beds um, I don't have anything yet and then the ones on the end this one doesn't have anything this is my garlic it needs to be watered um, this big tub that is full of bee balm and I think thyme it might be oregano though I'm not sure which is it I'm not sure which it is we've had a problem all the dirt has settled. We filled it with logs and stuff in the bottom, and then we filled it with dirt, and it has settled. But we also have had a problem with mice in this bed. Still trying to figure out how to naturally work that out. There's a couple of garlic in there. And then I have mess and these tubs that I put potatoes in. They're just, I just covered them again recently and they're already growing out of it so I'm gonna have to add more dirt there they're just potatoes from the kitchen that grew eyes my seven-year-old planted these last fall I don't remember what they are so I'm waiting for them to bloom and then this last bed back here it's just uh, It's just fencing on T-Post. Uh, I grew cucumbers here last year and they did really well. I grew cucumbers along the trellis and bush beans along the front. It did pretty good. Um, I also found these, you'll see these loofahs stuck in my fence. Um, I found that if I peeled the loofah while it was still kind of green and I stuck them in the fence panel, um, so they were still wet, they weren't dried out yet, that the stink bugs would load up on, on these and suck all the juices out instead of being on my plants, on my cucumbers and tomatoes. So it kind of made itself a trap crop. It was convenient. See, I have little strawberries. I hope they make it. Um, so that's where I'm at. 
I think on Saturday we'll go get another truckload of dirt just to try to it's really it's compost from the farmer um, I think we'll try to top off the rest of these beds fill that up which I think I'm gonna take the bee balm and thyme out and then fill it up and try to put them put the bee balm back in and I'll find a new home for the for the thyme I didn't use my fabric pots this year yet I haven't decided what I'm going to put them. I grew potatoes in them last year. Maybe I'll put the sweet potatoes in them this year. I need to clear out all these pots. I started to, and I got stung, and then I didn't finish. All these pots are just overgrown. I need to weed them out and hopefully plant some, some flowers. Oh, there is a little salvia coming back, though. There it is. I think it's a black and blue salvia it's just weeds big pot of nothing the chickens cleared out whatever was in there these I bought from the Dollar Tree and they just weren't any good but I might try to salvage and plant some of the greens in them I don't know and my daughter tried to plant flowers in there but when I let the chickens in they tore it all up and here's the chickens. They like to hang out under the gardenia bush. Well, some of the chickens. So that's it. It's a whole lot of nothing right now. But hopefully we make it through the frost okay. She's following me. Um, hopefully everything goes through the frost okay. And then we can plant the rest of the stuff. I'll show you the, the things I have growing. Um, not all of these will go in my garden. I'm sharing some, selling some. Probably all, these are all marigolds and zinnias. They'll probably all go in my garden. More zinnias, some celosia. I forget what else. Safflower, which I'm really excited about. Some bok choy, some cilantro. Peppers and basil. More peppers and basil. I grew licorice basil this year. I'm excited about that. Some parsley, but the parsley is not doing so well. It has little bugs on it. I've never grown parsley before, so I don't know. The little avocado trees I started from the, I put the pits in the dirt and some clippings from our blueberry bushes that actually look like they might have taken, I don't know. They have grass growing in there, but see, they have little leaves. So, kind of excited. That's an avocado. It's an avocado. It's exciting. Nasturtiums. Tons of sweet banana peppers. A whole pot of licorice basil. That's fun. More peppers and more tomatoes. Chicory, which I'm kind of excited about. And chamomile. And uh, chrysanthemums. And then more peppers. I love these. See the color on these? They're so pretty. They make purple and red. The peppers turn purple and red and yellow. So that's what I've got. A lot of work to do. I got some of the kids to help me and I thought I'd show you what we've got finished today. Um, we got, this is all Swiss chard down this row. And then this is the Swiss chard and red express cabbage and this is all red express cabbage and then down here we got this it's kind of beat up but we're gonna use it anyway we put some swiss chard in there i'm not sure what we'll put in these two layers um, and then we'll put flowers on top probably some marigold or something and we put the broccoli over here 
because it's shaded. I feel like maybe it won't get so hot that way. And then turn around and all down this row we put the dino kale. So that's going to be about it. I think these are the things that will be safe if it freezes. And so that might be all I do to the garden until after the freeze. Everything else it's the onions and there's strawberries and some of the cinder blocks and then that's and then there's garlic way on the end and that's it for now okay it is Saturday morning it should freeze tomorrow night so I'm doing one uh, one more walk through the garden to see how my little transplants are doing and um, then I'll show you what we did with all of our starts that I had grown on the carport in mostly in solo cups um, so I will I will show you that first here then. Um, these are all of the the Swiss chard and the cabbages we planted they look like I mean they look like they didn't even they got rained on and the weather changed and they really like like look like there's they didn't even have any shock so I'm really happy about that even the cabbages that got eaten by the by the chickens I mean they look okay so I'm pretty happy um, one thing I've already discovered though is that um, you know I wanted to have all of this out here in the garden I have a beautiful garden and I like to come out here and, and harvest things and but this morning I already realized when I wanted to cook my eggs I am um, when all of this was still in cups on the carport I would just walk out the door and grab a few leaves of Swiss chard a couple leaves of kale and I would throw it in with breakfast or or whatever and then this morning I realized I couldn't do that because it's all out here um, just a little bit further away and it was cold and I didn't want to walk out here so I just didn't do that I didn't come out and get the Swiss chard or kale so I think that's a lesson learned that um, I need to put some maybe in some pots by the door or something that maybe I'll be more likely to use it when I need just a little bit to throw in something if it's um, easier to access especially if it's raining or cold or super hot I guess you know or it's early morning and I'm not dressed yet um, so I will have to think on that and maybe I can put a big pot of greens um, by the door or something so it's just a thought maybe it's something you could think about too something how can you include um, something close and maybe you'll be more likely to use it if it's really easy and then still have I'm still gonna have these big the more of it out here but I'd like to have some close to the house too and while I've been standing here it's raining uh, I didn't think it was supposed to rain today but I guess we'll finish walking through in the rain this is all the kale it also doesn't look like it we got upset at all by being transplanted it looks really happy so I'm hoping all of that stays happy through the frost that's supposed to come tomorrow night I'm a little worried about the strawberries but we have some hay so I think that I'm gonna um I think I'm just gonna try to cover the strawberries with hay and hopefully that'll be enough to keep them safe they don't mind the cold temperatures but I don't think they'll like the frost on them so I think we're gonna try that and now I will, I will show you our little makeshift um, protection. <gasps> that is not just rain. Look. Do you see that? Is that hail? Okay, well, I will, I will be back when it's not hailing on me. I'm going inside now. Okay, it's still raining and it's still kind of hailing. 
but I'm going to show you where we put the all the plant starts. Um, I just noticed that in the background. That's a wreath my little girl made from weeds in the front yard. Isn't it cute? <laughs> anyway, um, okay. So, I thought I was going to have to bring all of those inside, but my husband had the idea of using the canopy, and we just used binder clips and whatever else we could find and hung the sheets up. And we put all the plants in there. It will at least keep the frost off of them. I don't know. Um, we will see if it's going to keep them warm enough. It's only supposed to be 32. One station said 30. Um, so I'm hoping that this cover will be enough to at least keep them just above freezing. So they won't be happy, but they should survive. And in case they didn't, um, I brought in, which I think they're going to, I think they're going to be fine. Um, but just to be safe, I brought in like one or two of everything. And especially the things that um, I really didn't want to lose. Like um, I had a couple of scorpion peppers that took forever to, to, to sprout and grow. And they're only like this tall. So I brought them inside and um, I only had one cherry tomato plant left and I didn't realize because I gave the other ones away or I traded them or sold them. Um, I didn't realize I only had one left and I didn't realize how badly one of my daughters wanted the cherry tomato plant. Um, so I have one and so I don't want to lose that one. So that's inside and I mean I could start another one. It's still early enough but and I probably will start some more, but just in case. And the sooner we get them, the better, because she's excited about it. Um, so things like that. Things that um, I don't want to lose, because they take too long. Or, anyway, whatever. So I put a few inside. And the rest is going to be out here, and I think it's going to be okay. I guess we'll see. Okay, and here's where I put the few plants I brought inside. This setup was for me to start seeds and to grow little seedlings. Definitely not meant for the plants as tall as they are now, but they need a spot while it's cold. I need to be sure that I keep some of these just in case because look, look. these are my little scorpion peppers. Look how tiny. Anyway, there. I don't want to lose those. This is ghost pepper. So just in case, they're inside where it's extra safe. I had just started some cucumbers, brought them inside. Um, these are plants that are I'm trading with one of my friends. I don't want them to die, obviously. They're inside. So anyway, I think it'll be okay. This little setup is just shoved in the back end of my pantry because it's the only space I had and we make do with what we have so so I hope you all enjoyed this little update uh, I will try to update again on chickens soon and uh, as soon as we get past the freeze I'll post an update on how all the little seedlings and the things in the garden fared so uh, see y'all next time